Hi guys, this is Matthias, and today is the day when we'll be doing the things that we've been talking about for quite a while. The would have, could have, should have moments. And we'll be using two different rounds, and uh, we'll see uh, well, basically half of the gameplay of both of these rounds. It's uh, two different second places, and we'll be uh, taking a closer look at what went wrong and what could have been done to secure the wins. Now here I know that the guy is close and I know he can hear the noise of the box. So I run towards the box at first making it seem like I'm there to loot. And then uh, this guy obviously was taken off guard. Now whether or not my trick actually worked, I don't know, maybe he didn't even think about it. But so far, so good. So right now I'm having a hard time making up my mind on whether or not I should go to that loadout drop and pick up my MP5. And the reason why I'm hesitating is because I have the stopping power rounds on my Grau. Because as you know, when I pick up my uh, MP5 on the loadout, I'm gonna drop my Grau, and that way I lose my stopping power. I really don't wanna lose my stopping power, but I really want my MP5. What do I do? I can't have them both. UAV, 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 UAV. So, I probably could have had a trophy system on top of my car. I most likely should have had a trophy system on top of my car. And if I would have had a trophy system on top yeah, of my I car, it down. probably wouldn't be blown up by C4. Somebody hit blow up my car. Fucking killed me with that thing. So now the key problem with this round is that I run out of armor plates. It might seem a bit strange being that I have the armor satchel and right now it's full. But it happened. And one of the things I want to point out here is that it can be a very, very good strategy to follow the gas. But if you end up in combat, if you win that combat, you might not get the loot that you need for future engagements. So right here I know there's one guy in that tower, it's a sniper, there's the other guy that got away uh, in the first car that I disabled but uh, I, I didn't get the kill, so there's at least two guys and there's nowhere they could have gone without me seeing them, so I know they're gonna be here somewhere in the vicinity of this bridge. I also find it very likely that they are going to start fighting each other very soon and I don't wanna miss the action. So yeah, that was a bit weird. I, I disengaged there because, uh, I don't know, the guy that I started shooting who was closer to me, he was shooting the guy that was further away, and the guy further away was hitting me, and he was hitting pretty hard. So he took all my armor plates off, and now I'm down to only three extra.
right after that final moment when I got the last guy, I really wanted to get more armor plates, but I couldn't see any, and I was in the gas, and I didn't want to risk it, because even if I did pick some of them up, they would have depleted, even if I would be able to get out alive from the gas. But that's a tough call. I'm so screwed. Now that engagement might seem like a very questionable engagement, but then again, it's not like I really have any cover, it's not like I have anywhere to hide, and for obvious reasons, I really want his loot, or well, his body armor. Unfortunately, he only had one left, he could have at least given me one for each enemy that is left, but no, didn't happen. I am so screwed. Now from this point on, I have a slight idea of what I should have done in order to win this game. And that is to stick to the gas and follow it on the left side. This is the mistake in my opinion, but uh, yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. <laughs> well, that was intense, though. This one is sick. If you were to use this assault rifle, this one, I'd be dead. It's insane. Enemy UAV overhead. Now this little, uh, almost SMG looking kind of assault rifle is really, really good. I've picked it up a couple of times. It's a legendary weapon called Drawn and Quartered. And it might actually be a really good alternative for the ones going with the sniper or marksman loadout. Now for this time around, I didn't keep that uh, drone and quarter because I never want to have a, uh, I never want to have two weapons using the same ammo. If you end up in a long and drawn out uh, firefight without any chance to loot, you might actually run out if you only use one ammo type. So for me, I want an SMG using the pistol ammo and an assault rifle using, well, yeah, rifle ammo. Now I guess we could say that this is the beginning of the end game, kind of. And after this round, we actually had a little bit of a discussion about what I could have done differently in order to win this round. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And yeah, big thanks for watching. Grenade launcher. Do you see my kills that I got with that? Targets remain standing. Sort them out. Oh. 
I don't know if there's any way I can get my SMG here. If I had smoke, maybe. Ah, this is so fucking risky. How did I not kill him at the last end there? <clears throat> That's the, the yeah, I, I know UAV, but everyone there had a ghost. I already know they had a ghost. <laughs> 